Hello nature lovers, thanks for joining me today. I'm on a bit of an urban exploration here in Chadwell Heath and I've come down to the Chadwell Millennium Green which is a former allotment site that in the late 90s was converted into more of an informal recreational area and I'm going to come and see what wonders of nature we can find here today. Entering from the south, I pass through a couple of arches and onwards to a seating area around a crumbling commemorative mosaic. To the left I find a patch of field bindweed and what I believe to be smooth hawksbeard, both of which are in flower. Working my way west, I come across this patch of horsetails. They belong to the only remaining genus of an ancient subclass of ferns, which were the dominant types of plant life way back in Jurassic times. Just behind the horsetails, a large patch of pale pink flowers, within which I could see honeybees getting covered in greyish pollen. The Seek app on my phone kindly identified the flowers as musk mallow, Malva moshata, a relative of common mallow, Malva sylvestris. Heading further into the site, I pass through a short grove towards another seating area. Then I break left towards the start of a curved boardwalk which leads round to a small area of reed bed, bordered in places by bramble. It seems the reed bed is home to all sorts of little creatures, and I'm indebted to the members of the Essex Field Club Facebook group for identifying a couple of them for me. The first one I do know, it's a small ermine moth. Then we have this insect, which I've been told is some kind of limited crane fly, possibly Phyllodoria ferruginea. And these, which I thought were caterpillars, turn out to be the larvae of the iris sawfly, the Latin name for which I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Meanwhile, the surrounding brambles host more mini-beasts. A bumblebee, white-tailed I think. A female large skipper. A ringlet butterfly. And then there's this, a cluster of unripe blackberries encapsulated in a silken cocoon with little spiderlings inside probably the crash of a species of nursery web spider and look on the left there the rear end and legs of the mother Despite the fact that the Millennium Green is only about an acre and a half and I was only there for about an hour and a half I had quite a nice variety of species there. If you live in an urban area that's got small islands of green then do check them out because you might be surprised what you might find there because as I'm always encouraging you to do on here you need to keep enjoying the wonders of nature wherever you are. Join me again soon here on Naturally Curious UK. Cheers folks, bye.